But those aren't my memories. The mind frack is where we get introduced to Carol's background as a human. It started in the script stage. You're going too fast! You need to go slow! We created these little scenes and tried to make them bite-sized enough so that we could get as much as possible about who she was and have it feel like you were getting pulled through these memories that were connected by some kind of stream of consciousness. It was much longer on the page. And as the writing evolved, we kept trimming it down. And really early on, we did tests with the camera to see how we could get that kind of 16 millimeter film feel or 35 millimeter film feel. And we landed on a look and a color palette that really felt like the right one. There's a lot of effects, but also some of it's in camera, like the part where Bree is talking to Annette. Wonderful view, isn't it? I prefer the view from up there. You'll get there soon enough, Ace. And Annette starts to walk away. The camera pivots to Bree, and then we have a double who's drifting away in the background. Wonderful view, isn't it? And then Annette runs around the camera. I prefer the view from up there. You'll get there soon enough, Ace. And yeah. So it's all in one shot, no effects. mind-boggling to try and get so many things that are hints to the story and hints to the pain. They'll never let you fly. And to do it in a way that is intertwined and weaved. We haven't done a lot of big explosions in our movies, and we certainly have never left the planet Earth. And if we're going to leave the planet Earth, we want to do it with a really good crew of people, and Marvel's the place to be. All right, I'm ready.